Thank you, John. Uh, morning, everybody. Uh, it's great to be here um, to join you all. I'm going to be talking to you today about um, how to use social media to engage uh, your community. Um, as we're saying in the intro there, I work for, I'm co-director of Breakthrough Communications. We specialise in working with councils to improve their communications. Um, so first of all, very quickly, platforms we focus on. Um, these are these should be pretty obvious to most people, but we always show this slide just to reiterate the importance of Facebook. Um, other councils are moving on to other platforms now, but Facebook remains the world's leading platform and the one you should start with. If you are looking beyond Facebook, Instagram is typically the one that most people move to first. Um, and we recommend this one, particularly if you're looking to engage with different groups, including young people, or to visually showcase your community um, in a more effective way. Twitter, incredibly effective platform for engaging with specific issues using the power of, um, of hashtags. Also, if you want to engage your local media um, in a constructive way, uh, Twitter is where journalists tend to live. So it's a good place to start. So Twitter can be very effective for certain things. YouTube is increasingly used by a huge number um, of authorities around the country. It's an excellent video hosting platform and is also owned by Google, which means it improves your um, ability to be found um, in searches uh, when people are looking for uh, things to do with your council. But Facebook remains the most widely used platform in, the in this country. And we always recommend to councils to be very good at Facebook before looking to move on to other platforms and ensure that you have a page rather than using a personal account to use Facebook. When you build your Facebook page, our top tips for enhancing a councillor or council Facebook page, uh, make sure you've got a unique address, set up a call to action button, uh, use the um, inbox function and the autoresponder function and make sure you review it regularly. On Facebook and all other platforms, content is king. Make sure that your content is engaging and is actually being responded to by people. Um, that means providing news and information, signposting, asking questions and sharing content from elsewhere so that your page remains refreshed. Engaging content, ten, generally speaking, is one or more of these things. Relevant, interesting, informative, tells the story, seeks feedback or asks questions. Um, it doesn't have to be all of those, but if it's some of those, you've got a good chance of people actually engaging with your content uh, on, online. And when you're looking to bring it to life a little bit, it's important to be authentic, sound like you, don't try to sound like somebody else. Build up conversations. Engagement is critical on social media and use images or better still video to make sure you get a bigger reach. If you're struggling for pictures, that's always a problem. There are some great free stock websites out there. A few of them listed there, pexels.com, Unsplash and Pixabay. Those are all licensed, copyright free images you can use. We'd always recommend you have your own pictures if you can, but if you can't, it's a great place to go. Always think about the language you're using. We stress this really strongly. This is a communications platform. I draw your attention to point two there about council speak and acronyms. We all do it, I'm a councillor, steer clear of them. Talk about what it is, don't use acronyms if you can avoid it, it puts up a barrier. And think about using emojis. And um, if we were doing this a year ago, I would have said, steer well clear of them, but they're so widely used now that using emojis to bring your content to life can be incredibly effective. Use Emojipedia though, or some other, or, or a very young person sometimes interpret them because some emojis can mean other things. A few things to be aware of on social media, humor has its place, but be careful of innuendo. Never reply in anger, or if you've had a drink to a Facebook post and really, really don't feed the trolls if you can avoid it, that's what they're there for. And share, share, and share some more. Sharing your content onto local pages uh, will build engagement, will build reach and ensure that it's getting in front of people that you actually want to speak to. So share that content as widely as you can. And there's always time for something new. Trying something different on your social media is really important. And there are lots of features on Facebook, for instance, that people rarely use and can be used to, um, to reach a wider audience like Facebook Live and using video to try to showcase what your council's doing. So never be afraid to test something else and have the confidence to do so. And we often talk to people at this point about really thinking about using video to reach different audiences, largely because the algorithms behind Facebook and behind uh, Instagram in particular, which is called Send Country Reward Video. Using graphics, Canva.com is very widely used in the sector. We work with a lot of councils that use it already and it's a really simple way of building graphics, but there are other um, softwares that are available. But using something simple to build graphics is a great way to engage with people. And finally, when we talk about tools, using scheduling tools. Um, Facebook has built-in scheduling tools, but if you're using more than one platform, something like Hootsuite is widely used, and we'd recommend using something to schedule your posts over a long period of time. So the four things quickly to try, if you don't have one, set up a council Facebook page, like or join your Facebook pages and groups, try writing a post on your page and sharing it, 
and share a piece of relevant content from somewhere else, whether that's from a councillor, a council, an MP, local media, or wherever it is. And finally, have a look at Council Hive. This is a platform we've built that has how-to guides, templates you can download. It's paid for on a yearly subscription, and we'd be very happy to talk to you about it. And you can have a look at it through our website where you can have a go at it and book in a call with us.